Namaste everyone. Today we will learn the poem Daddy fell into the pond of fourth standard English connection book. Okay children, the poem name is Daddy fell into the pond. This poem is written by Alfred Noyes. So this is the picture of Alfred Noyes. Alfred Noyes was born in 1880, was an English poet, short story writer and playwright. Best known for his ballads, he was a college dropout at the age of 21. He published his first collection of poems, The Loom Years in 1902, which received a lot of praise. So, Alfred Noyes was born in 1880 till 1958. He, he died in 1958. He was a well-known English poet, short story writer and a playwright also. He was best known as, for his ballads. He was college dropout at the age of 21. At the age of 21, he, he dropped out from the college. He published his first collection of poems that is the looms in the year 1902 coming to the poem now daddy fell into the pond this poem describes a funny incident read it and you will learn about humor in this writing so shall we start the poem i will read out whole poem first afterwards i will explain okay children okay shall we start now everyone grumbled the sky was gray we had nothing to do and nothing to say. We were nearing the end of a dismal day. And there seemed to be nothing beyond. Then Daddy fell into the pond. And everyone's face grew merry and bright. And Timothy danced for sheer delight. Give me the camera, quick, oh quick. He's crawling out of the duckweed. Click. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and doubled up, shaking silently. And the ducks all quacked as if they were daft. And it sounded as if the old drake laughed. Oh, there wasn't a thing that didn't respond. When Daddy fell into the pond, Alfred knows. Okay, children. So the first stanza, everyone grumbled the sky was grey. That means everyone's face was very dull on that day because the sky was grey. It was nearing to evening, the sky colour was grey colour. Everyone grumbled, all were in bad mood and the sky seemed grey. We had nothing to do and nothing to say. Nobody had anything to say or to do because on that day everyone were very bored. We were nearing the end of a dismal day. We were nearing the end of a dismal day means they were nearing to end that day. Dismal means miserable. So that day was going to be end because it's already evening time. And there seemed to be nothing beyond. So they thought that beyond this nothing will happen. And this day will pass away like this only. Then what happened? Daddy fell into the pond. Suddenly what happened? There was a pond nearby house. Suddenly daddy fell into the pond and everyone's face grew merry and bright. On seeing daddy falling into the pond, everyone's face grew merry and bright. That means everyone were happy and, the and their face was shining bright. And Timothy danced for sheer delight. Timothy, a small girl, danced in delight. She, uh, she was very happy and started dancing with uh, with delight give me the camera quick oh quick timothy told someone to give camera quick oh quick he is crawling out of the duckweed why to click photograph of photo photograph of dad who is coming out of pond and 
crawling out of the duckweed. He was slowly crawling out of the pond with all duckweed on his head and all over his body. So duckweed are the plants which grow in the fresh water or still water uh, ponds. So after, uh, she got one camera and she click it. So there is, this is the sound of a camera, click. Then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee. There was gardener also in the uh, spot. He saw daddy falling into the pond. The gardener suddenly slapped his knees. Gardener slapped his hands to knees and doubled up shaking silently. So he slapped his knees and started laughing silently. He was shaking while laughing. And the ducks all quacked as if they were duck. You can see ducks here in the pond. They were quacking as if they were daft. Daft here means foolish. And sounded as if the old drake laughed. So how was the sound? As if old drake was laughing. Old drake means drake is a male duck. Okay children? So the sound was how? It was like uh, a old drake laughing. Oh, there wasn't a thing that didn't respond. So here there was not no thing which did not respond to the the scene whatever happened on that day. So everything responded on that day when daddy fell into the pond. Alfred noise. So this is all about daddy fell into the pond. Now we shall move on to the other section. The next page words to know. So here are some words they have given. Their meanings. Let us see one by one. So first one is dismal. Dismal means miserable. Beyond. That means further on. Duckweed means smallest flowering plant that grows in a still or slow moving fresh water. Daft means foolish. Next, about the poem, pick the correct answer. Shall we answer the questions now? First one is, what was the weather like that day? So, how was the weather on that day when daddy fell into the pond? They have given three options here. Option A, it was bright and sunny. Option B, it was cloudy and dull. Option C, it was raining heavily. So, the answer is, it was cloudy and dull. Coming to the second one now. What was the mood of the family members before daddy fell into the pond? What was the mood like? They have given here three options. See, first one is everyone was bored. Second one, everyone was worried about daddy. Third one, everyone was having fun swimming in the pond. So what might be the answer here? Everyone was bored on that day. So they were very much bored on that day. The mood of the family was bored. Okay, okay. next third one is who took daddy's photography? Options are the gardener, mummy, Timothy. So the answer might be Timothy. Yes, the answer is Timothy took the daddy's photography. Fourth one, the gardener doubled up. Why did he do that? Why did gardener double up? Why he was uh, laughing at that scene? Because we have given here three options. In pain, in amusement, in anger. So answer is in amusement. The gardener doubled up in amusement. And now moving on to the next section of the poem. Section C. Imagery or onomatopoeia. Okay, sometimes poets describe a scene in a poem. This is called imagery or creating a word picture. So, sometimes what happens? Poet describes the situation of a poem which you can imagine the picture in your mind. For example, the family is sitting indoors getting bored on a cloudy day. They are all gloomy as they cannot go out. See, they have given one example here. Family is sitting in indoors, means that, that is inside and oh, everyone were, 
वेर बोर्ड एंड द डे वॉज क्लाउडी डे एंड एवरी वन स्पेस वॉज ग्लूमी एंड दे कैन नॉट गो आउट लाइक दिस यू कैन इमेजिन दिस लाइन इज इन दिल्ड्रन लाइक वाइज लिस्ट द अदर वर्ड पिक्चर दैट यू फाइंड इन द पोएम नाउ लेट इज गो बैक टू द पोएम लेट इज सी वर्ड पिक्चर हियर सो एवरी वन ग्रम्बल द स्काई वॉज ग्रे इज अ वर्ड पिक्चर हियर नेक्स्ट वन Daddy fell into the pond. Next one is Timothy danced for sheer delight. Everyone's face grew merry and bright. Next, he's crawling out of duckweed. Gardener suddenly slapped his knee. He doubled up, shaking silently. Ducks quacked as if they were daft. Daddy fell into the pond. These are some of the word picture which is present in the. poem next one second one what makes the click sound you know camera makes the click sound can you recognize more sounds like boom splash whoosh wow and pop can you name some things that make these sounds so here they are given some of the words we have to find out the from which the sound come the boom sounds come whenever there is a loud explosion splash is a sound where uh, with, uh, made by water or any liquid whose sound is whenever we there is a strong wind when we suddenly open the door the sound of the wind is uh, related to the word whoosh next wow whenever we are excited or something we see very uh, exciting means we will uh, cry wow next is pop pop sound is made by opening the bottle cap of the bottle so here note the creation of word that mimic natural sound such as meow honk and boom is called onomatopoeia so the creation of words natural sounds are created in the textual language um, which uh, tells about the natural sounds such words like meow honk and boom is called onomatopoeia so here some of the words i will tell you meow it is made by cat sound honking means horning continuously and boom as i told before it's a, a sound of a loud explosion likewise we can also tell the barking of dog as bow wow and uh, cows uh, moo like this these are some of the examples as in the poem it is quack quack of duck sound duck sound quack quack so children i will read out the poem once again everyone grumbled the sky was gray we had nothing to do and nothing to say we were nearing the end of a dismal day and there seemed to be nothing beyond then daddy fell into the pond and everyone's face grew merry and bright and timothy danced for sheer delight Give me camera quick or oh quick he's crawling out of duckweed click then the gardener suddenly slapped his knee and doubled up shaking silently and the ducks all quacked as if they were daft and it sounded as if the old drake laughed oh there wasn't a thing that didn't respond when daddy fell into the pond by alfred noyes now children we will see the rhyming words which comes in this poem the first one is gray and say next pair is bright and delight next one is the next rhyming word is beyond and pond so i hope you understood this poem children thank you